Kia ora and welcome. Today I'm going to share with you day 21 of the Creative Design Team's Love Your Stash Challenge and I'm here as a guest designer and I thank the team for having me on board over February and I enjoyed doing one on the 14th as well. Here is the Creative Design Team and we are coming uh, to you this month with the Love Your Stash Challenge. And this week the focus is to you um, to use a wild card or use anything. And I kind of use everything in this layout. And I'm going to scrapbook a photo of my new bike and getting out and about on one of our local tracks. Just to celebrate this and to put this out there. It is summer here so I've had to be going out in the later evenings rather than uh, early uh, rather than in the afternoons when I'm home from school. So here I've just gone through some of these papers and had to think of what I'm going to use, which ones work and now I'm pulling out some of the bits and pieces. So I'm going to use the yesterday and today frames that I had mentioned in my last video where I sort of pulled out um, a kit that I was going to use for uh, this use your stash challenge and I enjoy making these kits from my leftover bits and pieces so here I'm cutting around the stickers that I think might work on this page I may or may not use them um, but it's fun pulling together the different bits and pieces that might work and having them handy uh, on the table around me while I'm putting the pages together so I go through quite a few different collections. So instead of just use anything, I took it to mean use everything. So I've got some yesterday and today, some Aurora, some blue skies, happiest place and stitch together, as well as quite a few other bits and pieces that I pull in to create this layout. So I'm taking the yay sticker here and popping this on ready for use a bit later on. And again, just flicking through the different parts as thinking what might work, what might not. And I cut around them and stick them on the page. So I, I decide in the end, I use the Adventure Is Out There sticker as my title for this layout. So it was quite cool having quite a few left on this sticker collection to be able to do that. And again, just looking and um, making that decision, is there anything that's going to work? And I'm kind of looking at the colours, thinking about the story I want to tell on the page and how it, um, it may or may not come together to fit with the kind of style that I want to create. So I'm still using a white card daisy cardstock base and just looking at the papers that I'd already identified I want to use, and I've trimmed these down. So the top paper there, I think uh, the green star paper is four inches, and the back side of that, which is the one tucked underneath it with the colorful drops coming down, I've cut that to be about two and a half inches, and I will tuck that out later on. So now I'm using the black shimmer brush to create some splatter drop effects on this uh, white daisy cardstock. And getting some bits and pieces ready because I'm going to start doing some of the sticking down and I'm just using the blue Tombow for this. So I am sticking the green stars at the top followed by the other side of that just tucked underneath there and stuck down so there's about an inch of that showing. And I've got the green sticker here from one of the sticker sheets and I'm going to put that right at the top. It's the same green, but it just has a different texture uh, and a different feel to it. So it's quite cool being able to put that on there. And then I've pulled out one of the pink piece underneath. I'm curling up the edges of the pattern paper just to give it a bit of lift, to give it sort of a more lived in feel um, and sort of an out, I don't know, that rough uh, outsideness. So I'm adding some more black shimmer just up the top on that green so that you've got that continuity and connection between the base white daisy and the green stars at the top. So now I am backing the frames from the yesterday and today chipboard embellishments and I'm cutting around them so that the paper is slightly smaller than the actual frame size because I don't want any of the paper peeking out when I stick them onto the frame. And I decided that um, I would do this instead of distressing or changing the colour 
of these frames uh, and I decided to use them as they were. So I've got one more frame there that I'm going to back with the, I think it's the other side of the blue striped paper. So just again sticking that on with the glue so that it sticks to the back of the frame. And putting the pattern paper in the back there just, um, they're not, it's not a picture that it's framing but it just adds a bit of interest. The flower I did position um, carefully when I cut around it so that it does look like it could be a picture or a drawing of a flower up there. So I'm going to stick the title down because I'm actually quite happy with what that looks like and where that fits on the page. And now I'm going to choose some more of those stickers that I pulled aside that you can see that I've had sitting to the left there. And I am sort of arranging things, thinking about all the different arrows, the hearts, um, and the different embellishments that I've got and where they might fit on the page. So I'm going to put this pink strip down the bottom. So I am, oh, these are the hearts actually, but I will put that pink strip down the bottom as well. So with the hearts, I start, I just set them there at the moment and I will stick them down later. I didn't want it going all the way across. I just wanted that little bit of point of difference there. Um, yeah, just so it would stand out a little bit. Now you'll see me try and place this bike on the layout a few times. I'm kind of really keen to put that on there, but I just never um, put it there in the end. So I have backed my photograph, it's matted on some of the white daisy cardstock and behind that is some of the uh, light blue happiest place cardstock with silver stars on it and then some of our vellum tucked in behind there. Uh, so now I'm going to take that cluster aside and prepare uh, some of the bits and pieces that I'm going to put on there. Now I'm trimming down that piece of pink paper and I'm going to put that right down the bottom and curl up the edges of that a little bit too just to rough it up um, it's not quite as curled up as the other bits and pieces so I am now getting uh, some of my mixed media bits and pieces out and I am going to mix up some of the inks um, some of the shimmer brushes and a bit of texture paste with some of this gel some of the glitter gel just to add a little bit more interest to the white daisy cardstock and you can just see me dropping some of the shimmer brush colors in there scooping out some of the texture paste mixing that in and just sort of smearing it on the page using the mixed media tools, tucking that up under the paper a bit so it's not um, perfect. And I'm sort of envisaging where the frames were and where they will come to so that I can add some of those bits. So um, I am going to use some of the acrylic um, gloss sprays that we have and I add some splatters with those as well. But now I'm just going to stick down that photograph on those different mats that I shared with you earlier and get that ready to stick on the page. So now I'm sort of looking and thinking, okay, so these bits and pieces are here. How's that going to look? Uh, where's that going to sit? And at this point in the creation process, I'm not 100% sure that I love the sort of coral bits and pieces so I am pleased that I've got some things to stick over them so it just peeks out when the layout's finished rather than taking over. So I sort of tuck them in beside the um, beside each other and now I'm going to use the foam tape there to put my photograph into the arrangement. And there we have that. So now it's a matter of getting a lot of those stickers that I'd put aside and tucking them in, sticking them on, and um, generally just sort of playing around with ideas. Now that ribbon was perfect because it did cover up quite a bit of that pinkiness that I decided I didn't love. But I am pleased it's there. Once the layout's dried, the glitter bits in it just stand out beautifully. 
So now I'm just going to journal in the frame. I chose a stripy paper there because I decided that would be my journaling uh, block or my area where I want to put the journaling inside the frame. And having those lines there from the pattern paper was super helpful. So just checking that things are sticking down nicely. I did wonder about putting some liquid glass up in that top left frame. Um, and that could be quite a cool effect, but I just wanted that outdoorsness of it rather than it to have that glassy look for this particular page. So now I am again just going through um, choosing some of the embellishments and I think this these ones are from the Aurora collection. The colour just um, tied in quite nicely with the layout and I end up using an arrow from that, which is up the top there under the wooden arrow. And that's um, most of the embellishments. There's another arrow that I've tucked down onto the photo, which is another wooden one, which is a nice finishing effect. And I do add some of our white gems to the, or oh, they were older ones. They were white with a bit of gold fleck through them, which were really cool. And I do end up tucking one at the top of the picture frame and one at the bottom. But now I've just found some of the wooden hearts and I'm just going to stick that on as well as a black heart that I tuck down the bottom. And I kind of have a line of hearts that ends up coming through the page. So there's sort of a yellow heart and then it comes down to um, that wooden one across there with a blue one down low and then the black one right near a sticker at the bottom there. So you just saw me using some of our liquid uh, pearls and I'm just using a, I used a white one and I've used a black one as well these just add a really nice um, pearlescent effect and it ties in nicely with the black splatters that I have put on the page there so there you can see me putting the gems in place and having a look at that and thinking yep I am pretty happy and I'm going to tuck that last little yay label on there with some foam tape and sticking that on the page covers up a little bit more of that pink so it's just peeking out and you get a nice wee hint of it. So here's some close up looks at some of the bits and pieces on this page and I will pop this onto my Instagram so have a look out for Scrappy Kia uh, and you may see it in other places too. Thanks for watching. This um, was lots of fun to put together and I hope that you are taking the opportunity to get into your stash this month. Feel free to subscribe if you've enjoyed what you've seen and tomorrow we have Julie sharing her layout as well. So look out for that. So remember to hashtag CDT love your stash. Look forward to seeing what you create.